have a good amount of almonds soaking overnight. I put mine in the fridge because I let them soak a little bit longer just because of my busy schedule. But now I'm going to drain the water that they've been soaking in, rinse them really good, and add them into another bowl. Then you want to use filtered water. Highly recommend do not use tap water as this is obviously something you're going to consume on a regular basis if you drink lattes like me. And I'm just going to fill it up to cover the almonds. Welcome to my YouTube video on an updated how I make my almond milk. So I have been through many types of cold press juicers over the years and I have to say that Nama, this juicer, has changed my life. It's the best juicer I've used so far. Literally not a partnership with them, I just love them. So we are going to be using the Nama juicer for the almond milk. This is my favorite way to actually make almond milk as it makes it super smooth, super thick doesn't make it separate like a typical blender or any of those almond milk juicer makers uh, like Almond Cow. Unfortunately, it's the same situation of how you would just blend the almonds and the water together. And if you're looking for a super frothy matcha with your homemade almond milk, I highly recommend using the cold press juicer. I've been doing this now for about eight years, so I definitely have my experience with testing out different types of juicers and techniques. So for this video, you will need a strainer nut bag. You'll need two bowls, a lot of almonds, filtered water, some glass bottles to store your almond, and of course, a cold press juicer. So I have my soaked almonds here that have been rinsed and drained. Now we're going to ladle it into the juicer and the juicer is just gonna do its own magic. The beauty of buying almonds in bulk is that you get it for way cheaper. I obviously drink almond milk uh, multiple times a month, so when I buy a big 25 pound bag of almonds, this really lasts me at least a month or two, depending on how much milk I'm drinking or if I have guests and I'm making more, etc. But when it's just me, it typically lasts me about two months. Um, in Italy, I buy them local to Italy. They're from Sicily, actually, organic uh, almonds that I buy in bulk. In the US, I used to buy my almonds, organic almonds from a company called nuts.com. Highly recommend them again. This is all in bulk uh, matters, so you're not buying a bunch of small bags, which would cost you a fortune. Obviously, almonds can get expensive, so I highly recommend doing that if you want to start making your almond milk at home. So, very simple. Water, almonds, turn on the juicer, ladle it in. So the key here is that you want to do equal parts water to almonds in your ladle so that it, it's even, it combines it well, you don't, you don't have it too thick or you don't have it too watery. I always say to keep your filtered water next to you, I'll have to go grab mine because I forgot it, because you will have to refill the bowl with some water since there's a lot of almonds uh, to water ratio in this bowl. But as you can see, we're getting to the top now. So I'm just gonna let that go. All the almond pulp comes out this side, which is amazing. I actually have recipes that I use for the almond pulp so it doesn't become wasteful. You can make things like pie crust. You can also make cookies. I used to make cacao cookies. I have recipes on my website if you're interested. I also did some savory dishes years ago, which were super interesting. Um, there definitely is a lot of ways that you can use the almond pulp. You can compost it as well, but it's not recommended to do too much since it would make the, uh, the compost super dense. We'll just continue doing this in course until we run out of almonds. After you have poured a good amount of your almond milk into my bowl, my bowl is getting a bit full here, so I'm gonna go ahead and wring out my nut bag. Then once you have your milk filtered through your nut bag, 
I'm gonna use this guy again just to pour it into my glass bottles a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ladle it back in. I used to have a beautiful bowl with a spout on it, which I'm waiting to come from the US to here, uh, which will make my life so much easier. But for now, this is the efficient way of me making my milk. So once you have it at a good height, you will, I use glass reusable bottles just for sustainability and then you can go ahead and pour your milk into your jar. Fresh, creamy, and you will basically just continue the process until all of your milk is done and then store into the fridge for five to seven days depending on the temperature of your fridge. Mine lasts sometimes a week and Enjoy. You can also add, if you want, some salt um, for keeping it fresh. You can also add vanilla if you want to. A lot of people like to sweeten it with dates. Since I drink it in the morning on an empty stomach, well, not quite an empty stomach, but with my matchas before I eat a meal, I don't like to add any sugar or anything um, just because it's not good to consume sugar first thing in the morning as it spikes your insulin levels, which then makes you crash later in the day. So for me, I love my healthy fats, I love my proteins, and so drinking a non-sweetened almond milk homemade with my matcha is the perfect thing for me in the morning when I wake up.